possible, but we discuss this. However, if we follow GM technology with a strict uh, short duration probe, with uh, thermal trap kind of situation, uh, for monitoring, also for building disruption, possibly trial mock release will not be required in country like ours. There was another uh, suggestion that uh, these are three scientific suggestions and then there are practice, agricultural practice or cultural suggestions. Suggestion number one is that all the residue, crop residue needs to be strictly destroyed by the, by the community. It has to be followed very, very strictly, especially the green balls has to be burned are you know chopped off so that uh, uh, you know uh, pink ball worm is not able to survive after the harvest of cotton. So this is the one recommendation, and for this actually it is very important that all the stakeholders are made accountable. Everybody participates for the true control of the insect. And the last suggestion was that uh, you know. When the cotton is harvested, it is given to Ginner and Ginner actually, sorry, Ginner, and it takes a lot of time, 3 4 months, and it is very good time for pink ball worm to multiply over there, develop to pay and all. So, it is important that at their place, when the cotton is simply seed, cotton is simply stored, it is very strictly eradicated. And wherever the seed is produced, that has to be monitored. And it was suggested that there should be a crop holiday. One year you grow cotton, and uh, second year you don't grow cotton. So that is the kind of suggestion we have come out. Thank you very much for opportunity that you gave to Thank you very much.